Hello everyone. I am sitting on a dock in Hoboken, New Jersey, right across the Hudson from New York City. There we go. You can kind of see it. And I'm in the city for a really amazing event that happened last night, which I'm just so excited about. And it was just the most amazing group and environment and energy to be in. Sorry, my hair is like wind blown and crazy. Um, but yeah, so it was amazing. We went to a couple girlfriends and I, just women who are in New York and who are, you know, up north and wherever, just gathered a bunch of women together who are in the coaching industry or are really interested in yoga, personal development, stuff like that. And we all got together, went out to dinner and then went to the Mama Gina book launch party for her new book, Pussy, a Reclamation, which is amazing, by the way, if you haven't read it and you're a woman who wants freedom, success, sisterhood, soulfulness, this book needs to be read. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about it all. It's amazing. It's totally like a taboo topic and subject, but something that's so important. And one of the things that really resonated with me is that in the beginning, there's a word. And when we don't have a word for the part of us as women that is so essentially feminine and is a power source for us, we don't have a beginning. And so there's so much um, self-doubt and lack of confidence and just all these issues that women face today that are really stem from the um, not having a name for our power, really. Um, and men in our society just don't have that problem. Like, uh, I don't know, I don't really wanna get into it, but the book is amazing and you need to read it. And um, I'm thinking about doing a book club around it in Charleston. So if anybody is local to Charleston, um, I have a group, a meetup group called the Goddess, the Charleston Goddess Collective that I haven't done anything with yet, but I've kind of like reserved it and been wanting to do something, waiting for the opportunity that really feels right. And so this is it, I think. And there will be other things too, but I think it's about time that we get together live um, to discuss a book and just like, have a great time together and learn and grow and all of that in sisterhood. And so, yeah, the other topic I wanted to talk about was that there's something really beautiful about women who are successful, who are at the level of success that we, a lot of us are moving toward in our businesses where we're able to serve women globally, where we're able to make seven figures and really give back in our businesses. A lot of really beautiful concepts that are happening to be of service, but also feel successful and feel taken care of. Um, and so many other things, I can't really name them all because they're individual preferences and individual definitions of what success looks like and feels like to each of us. But it's so beautiful to see these women who a lot of us look up to and who may have inspired us in the beginning to even start on our paths like Marie Forleo and Chris Carr and um, Gabby Bernstein. And I remember being in college and just like being like, what are these women, like, are they making a career out of this? Is this like a hobby? Like, how does it work? And just being really intrigued and interested in how they made it happen and what they're doing. And just watching like Gabby Bernstein's like early YouTube videos and reading Chris Carr's book and just being like, oh my God, like I could do this. And now I'm doing it and I'm around women in my life. I'm so fortunate to have built like a support system of incredible women who I do call sisters and who are really near and dear to my heart and who are um, the keystone really of my success in my own life and of all of our success because it's not just one of us it's really all of us in the collective that makes it possible and that reflects to us that we need to be our most brilliant so that they can be too and we share that light together and that was one of the most amazing things that i heard last night that i was like oh my god yes yes i need she mama gina said something like i need each of these women to be their most radiant their most powerful their most magnetic their most playing big in their life in their business so that i can do that too and so that we can all support each other and be reflections for one another of what that looks like and feels like so that we can call each other deeper and higher and broader and bigger into our power as women and into our mission 
separately. And it was so beautiful to see each of them sitting on stage doing this panel and asking, you know, answering questions and just supporting one another, like showing up in support of each other's mission and being so grounded in their own mission, but also admitting that this feminine, <coughs> feminine energy stuff, that a lot of them don't, they're not masters at it yet. And that running a feminine business or running a business in your with your feminine energy guiding you is not something that people really know how to do yet. It's a totally new concept.